Hello. Thank you for taking the time to judge this debate and consider our arguments. I'm Nicholas Cadella Holmes, a high school student dual enrolled at the University of Michigan Flint, and today I submit the following resolution. That an overriding ethical obligation to protect and preserve extraterrestrial life, microbial life, and ecosystems should be incorporated into international law. Such an overriding ethical obligation is defined as a duty to protect life that is great enough to strongly factor into any decisions made that could affect the aforementioned beings. This resolution is fundamentally about how all forms of life, our own, and ones very distant, can be best protected and preserved. I'll demonstrate why this issue is serious. Then I'll elaborate on how the respect that this resolution mandates will protect alien life forms as well as our own. And let us begin. Throughout human history, we've seen people discover and explore numerous new horizons. Space being the last in a session of similar leaps of exploration mankind's already taken. But will we treat the life we encounter out there the same manner that we've treated the life we've already encountered down here? According to American narrative history, due to thousands of years of separation between the populations of the two hemispheres, viral disease outbreaks resulted as the primary reason for a 90% decrease in the Native American population in the centuries after European contact. We cannot allow such a terrible tragedy to stay in our history and darken our universe ever again. Further, the ecosystems that were encountered in the Americas were often irreparably harmed by foreign flora and fauna the Europeans brashly brought with them, according to Western civilizations. And we see the same thing continuing to happen today. According to National Geographic, every year, forests equal to the size of the country of Panama are forever destroyed. Our history makes clear that humans tend to mindlessly destroy what they do not understand or appreciate. If we do not sufficiently understand or appreciate our own Earth, how will we treat the Earths of other beings? Even microbes, though they are small and seemingly meaningless, are necessary for the survival of all known advanced life. According to Dr. Hirschfield, a professor of biology at St. John's University, we are so dependent on microorganisms that live inside of us that we can even be categorized as human microbe hybrids. If future space explorers irresponsibly destroy alien microbes, it would topple the complex ecosystems that they are the foundations of. Further, these microbes offer a priceless window into the secrets of life, allowing scientists to glimpse insights in the beginnings of life itself. It'd be a scientific calamity of unprecedented scale if they were negligently destroyed before science could benefit from them. But, not only could our brash actions harm alien life, but could also allow ourselves to be harmed by very foreign and very dangerous parasites, much as Native Americans and, to a lesser extent, Europeans perished of unfamiliar diseases. If such death was caused by a few thousand years of separation, Imagine what a few billion years of separation could cause. If one thing in human history is clear, it is that humans excel at mindless destruction. Just as humans have destroyed people and ecosystems of frontiers previously conquered, we could do the same to frontiers about to be conquered. And in the process, we destroy fragile and precious life forms, revolutionary new pathways for science, and even ourselves. The time for action is now. For once we see imminent profit and national gain, our higher principles and greater ideals would be clouded by self-interested and short-sighted brazen. Thank you.